Yeah, that's right, guys. This phenomenon a little bit more in the realm of interesting than as uh, dreadful as some of the stuff they've been seeing across the region. This was on February 12th. Across the region, this is the radar view from Dallas Love Field. They had a little bit of light lake effect snow going on. Smaller lakes down there, but of course not frozen, so that was happening. But then you saw this little band here right between Dallas and Tarrant County. It kind of showed up as a little line going north to south. Didn't quite fit the mold as the rest of the snow across the region. So that's what we think was the airplane effect snow. So let's go ahead and explain how that happens. There's different types of effect snow, shall we call it, across the region. The normal one that we have here in Lake Mich uh, across Lake Michigan, West Michigan, is lake effect snow, warm waters, of course. The moisture rises off of there, colder ground toward the inland and cold air aloft that flows over that warm water. Of course, that generates the cloud cover, generates the lake effect snow. That's what we're used to dealing with. But this type of snowfall can come from smaller sources as well. One of those could be something called power plant effect snow. Basically, the moisture that comes out of the cooling towers or smokestacks of a power plant condenses and forms a band of snow. This will be narrow, but looks mostly like normal lake effect snow. That's not what we were seeing there uh, near Dallas. That was, again, airplane effect snow. So here's how that actually comes to be. Here's a picture of the atmosphere. Normally warmer air near the surface, colder air up in the atmosphere. That allows air to rise, condense into clouds, form raindrops, snowflakes, the usual. What happened on February February 12th is we had something called an inversion. That's where warmer air is above the surface. The cold air can only make it so far before it gets trapped. You can have super cooled water droplets in that air, droplets that did not form into snow crystals, and then the exhaust gases of a plane actually provide enough surface for those little snow crystals to form on. In fact, you can see that's exactly the case here on the 12th. There's the inversion. Air gets warmer as you go up through the atmosphere. And then here's a picture of that radar once again. There's the airport DFW, planes taking off toward the south, winds coming in from the west, and then there's our little burst of airplane effect snow. Guys.